Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome live from Boca Raton, Florida. It's the Barefoot Vlogger. Happy Saturday, everyone, and welcome. Guys, I can see the screen perfectly. For once, I can read chat, and it's because of what you're not yet uh, called that, but let me say hello. I'm going to turn it around. I'm multitasking, guys. No sunglasses today. I got my poncho on. I'm wearing my poncho and I'm actually holding an umbrella that Svetlana was good enough to tell me where it was because I don't usually use umbrellas. So hello everyone. Kian, what's going on? And uh, Kevly, I see Cheryl. Thank you for the nice message, Cheryl. We're all doing fine. And Wilson is here and Phil. It's going to be a little difficult for me to... Uh, because I'm, I'm using both hands, guys. One to hold you, and the other to hold the umbrella. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get it off of me, and I'm going to show you where we're at and what we're doing. Hi, Sebastian. Guys, the goal today, I like to always have an objective for everything we do here at this Barefoot Army Network, and um, even during live streams. The goal is to, the objective is to um, do some exploring during our first tropical dis uh, uh, disturbance of the year. You can see some water right there. I'm at, this is at the uh, base of the uh, Theodore Pratt Bridge. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna walk over there and show you guys that. But, but you can see some water puddling up there. That's nothing. That's nothing. Coming out of the community this morning, um, it, was, uh, it looked like a lake. It looked like a lake trying to get out where the guard gates are. You can see there's not a lot of traffic right now. Hi, David. Hardest working man on YouTube. Well, you know what? I appreciate that. I don't consider it work. That's what's so great about it. So you can see these, these vehicles. I'm walking over to the other side of the bridge just to show you guys something. They're heading west away from the beach. We're going to go towards the beach. But, you know, when you see, guys, you see stuff like this. This is nothing. But you see this, like, brown, mucky stuff. These all dead leaves and things. Um, and you can see some water down there. This is what this and you can look at the water You can see the stream of water as it's moving. This is what you can expect in Florida When we have storms and this is nothing This is just some sitting water here at the base of the bridge and then you can see water and it's puddled up over there um, actually well, well, we'll see it better from the other side, but um you're gonna get a lot of flooding you're gonna get a lot of water you know you could see on the other side of that wall there's boats there so that is on water leading out to the intracoastal hi joey i'm gonna go to my usual stomping grounds here I'm to boca raton spanish river beach it's just easier for me it's closer and uh we're gonna check out what happens during these storms now i'll tell you i'm holding an umbrella which I was wondering about because of potential winds. And then again, you can see the water there as it's making its way, trying to find an out. And you'll get a lot of that muck though. You can see a banyan tree over there. A lot of the trees like that have shallow roots. They'll go over. They'll literally fall over when uh, they get wet enough. And because the roots are typically topical type roots that don't go too deep. I don't know what happened there to that tree, if anything. You could see that little barge that floated up, though, that, that, that um, crate of wood. It looked, I don't know. That looks like it might have been part of a dock. Hold on. Get a tighter shot. That might have been a part of somebody's dock right there. Looks like the typical weather we have in England. Really, Kian? Yeah, I know, I know. I remember when Svetlana was living in uh, Manchester. Not sure if you're uh, too close to that, but she was living there. And uh, we got together, and she'd show me the window, out the window every day, and it, uh, it just looked like that every day. You're right about that. So I'm feeling some gusts of wind. Now you can see the umbrella. I'm, I'm using a lot of my strength in my hand to hold on to it so I don't make like Mary Poppins. But this is the intracoastal waterway we're heading over. Again, this bridge is has has a name. This has a name. It's 
the street is Spanish River Boulevard, but the bridge has a name. A lot of times they'll name streets after people or bridges after people. And uh, they did that here. I don't, can you guys hear me okay? How much rain? We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that. It's a great question. Um, we've got a lot of rain, but not as much as some other places. I'm going to get into all the details of the storm. Right now, I'll just whet your appetite and tell you that it is, uh, it's slightly breezy. I thought it would be windier here. Um, I'm not feeling that much in the way of sustained winds, but we'll see. That'll probably change when I get onto the beach, and that's what I'm going to do. Uh, it's 76 degrees. Uh, when I when I turned on the uh, the camera here, that's what I the temperature I got now. There used to be a plate here naming the bridge. Did they take it off? I hope they're not renaming it. But look, guys, there's like not much traffic here for a Saturday. Usually on the other side there, you see cars lined up. Where's the plate? The name plate for the bridge? I don't see it. It's a little further up. Anybody know the name of this bridge? Um, you know what? It's warm. Can it feels warm because it feels sticky? It feels sticky. Hope I'm saying your name by the way correctly because there's a musical group that hails from England that I love called Keen, and they spell it almost the same exact way except for one end. I love the group Keen, one of my favorite all-time favorite bands. Okay, here we go. Anybody know the name of the bridge? Spanish River Bridge, that's what it used to be called, but the official name is... Theodore Pratt Memorial Bridge. Does anybody happen to know who Theodore Pratt was? Okay, cool. I thought so. I hope so, Kian. Um, hi, Jelani. I'm in Boca right now. Theodore Pratt Memorial Bridge. Just crossed over the intercoastal. So, guys, Theodore Pratt was an author who wrote a book. He wrote a couple of books, typically having to do with Florida because he lived here. The one that I'm talking about is The Barefoot Mailman, which they, uh, whoops, hold on which they eventually made into a movie, by the way. It was more of a kind of a screwball comedy. But um, the book was more serious than that. Theodore Pratt Memorial Bridge is 51 years old. That's right, 1971. Yep, isn't that incredible? So, guys, what I'm doing is I am crossing the Theodore Pratt Memorial Bridge here in North Boca Raton, Northeast Boca Raton. See the sign up there for North Ocean Boulevard. Guys, I had no idea what to expect here in terms of the winds and the rain. I did look at the Doppler and it showed me that around 12, 30, 1 o'clock, the rain would subside and um, push out to sea. And that seems to be what's happening right now. Hopefully we'll get some some good cooperation from the signal. Now you see this, this is what I'm talking about. Hi Big A, it's, it's, it's making its way out to sea right now. You see all this guys, this is the kind of thing that you can, you can expect during a summer storm here in Florida. You know, particularly these depressions and these tropical storms and of course hurricanes. You're gonna see a lot of muck it's going to be really dirty in the streets, not just the floods, but once the, once the water subsides, you're going to see a lot of these things. You're going to see a lot of this, uh, um, you know, these, those are pine needles right there, I guess. You're going to see a lot of the pine needles. You're going to see a lot of the mulch. You're going to see a lot of leaves. You're going to see a lot of palm fronds, palm fronds and, um, pieces of the husk of the of the of the bark of the trees and the and the palm trees you will see a lot of that um, the mulch that goes around you know like a lot of this these rocks and mulch all of that stuff I mean this storm guys really honestly is nothing um, in terms of damage destruction and wind it's more of a rain event and from that standpoint it's not nothing it's something so um, 
guys asked a question earlier. Look, you see the coconut right there that came down? Hold on. And again, these types of things, just take this and magnify that by about a million. You see that dirt up there when you have a hurricane. You're going to get a lot of this stuff. Coconuts coming down from the trees, right? Sea grape leaf. These little husks that I was telling you about, you know? I probably don't want to be standing under a tree right now. A palm tree, that is. Or any tree. They don't seem to need the umbrella. I'm going to close that just to make it easier. And uh, chat with you guys. And catch up. I hope everybody's doing well. If you're down here, I hope that you are uh, safe and cozy on a weekend, enjoying your weekend. I'm gonna be live today and I'm gonna be live tonight. So, we're gonna have some fun together. Hold on as I close the umbrella. It's just gonna make it easier for me to walk if I don't need it. If I need to reopen it, I'll, I'll just do that as necessary. So, Cheryl says, even with the muck, it's still beautiful there. Yeah, well, you know, listen, it's, um, it's, part, it's just part of, it's part of Florida living. It's part of Florida living. It's something that you have to accept. Some people can't. Some people refuse to accept it. They don't want to be around. Um, you know, weather that could be potentially hazardous. And it's, you know, certainly something that is part of life here. It could be hazardous. There are people that lost their lives here, unfortunately, and, and homes and everything. I, you know, I, I, I've witnessed it. I've witnessed it. I've had um, friends or business associates that, you know, I remember somebody that I worked with right after Hurricane Andrew, they lost their house, they lost everything. Family with uh, two kids and a dog. And so what happened was, hold on, why is it, uh, I don't know why it was so zoomed in. You guys don't need to see that. I'm scary enough from a distance. So what happened with these poor folks was um, there, uh, it was like aunts and uncles, I think, type of deal. It wasn't brothers and sisters. It was like aunts and uncles was family members. And they had family members living in Coral Springs, okay? And their home was in somewhere southwest state, like Kendall or something like that. You know, ground zero. Ground zero for, for, the, for Hurricane Andrew which in my opinion was the strongest hurricane we've ever had. I'm crossing A1A right now, carefully. And uh, long story short, guys, they moved in to a three bedroom house with their relatives that already had two kids and a dog of their own, okay? And so um, they lived with them for the better part of a year before the insurance came through and they got their money and they got their new place and got resettled. So I, I've seen it. I've seen it happen. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Here we go. The beach. So, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, I'm going to go barefoot. Take these off so I don't ruin them. And then I'm going to go barefoot on the beach. And here we go. Bark Beach starts at 5 o'clock today. Hi, Patricia. Video of flooding. Yeah, you know, um, I'm, we're going to talk about that right now. So the question was asked earlier, how much rain did we get? Let's start with that. And hold on. I'm just going to keep these right here in my umbrella. And hopefully nobody will walk away with that. Um, I do have an external mic, so hopefully it will cooperate. Talk about that. Um, here we got about five inches of rain. And you can see what happens to umbrellas. You can see what happens. We got about five inches of rain. You can see it looks a little worse to the south. That would be a southern exposure view right there. Um, by the way, if you're just joining us, hello, good afternoon, happy Saturday afternoon from me, the Barefoot Vlogger. I have a uh, poncho on. 
Pancho Villa here today. And um, you see a surfer over there. See guys, this is this is what this is if you're into surfing and you're a little bit of a daredevil, which I which I was accused of yesterday, which I love. Thank you, David S. I, was it David who called me that? Who called me daredevil? I loved it. Uh, no, no, it was Michael Bell. Anyway, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get closer and I'm gonna show you all of this. Hi, Denise. What's going on, Peggy? Hello, everybody. Who did I miss, by the way? Florida flip flops. What's going on, Naples? I, you guys really were in the crux of things when this started. It's probably passed over you now. I'm assuming. Let us know how you're doing. I hope everybody's doing good on the on the West Coast. Hi, Bryn. What's going on? JJ, my neighbor, what's going on? It is always beautiful here. JJ knows the deal. Um, so the poncho, I put the poncho on. I'm like, I got to gear up. I got to get out there. I'm the weatherman today. I'm Florida man, Florida man, weatherman. Um, this poncho made its debut in another video. And that was when Dylan and I went to Orlando and had more rain than what you see it right now. We just got pummeled with rain when we went to Epcot and spent a couple of days there. So let me get the camera off of me. I just wanted to say hello officially again and uh, say hello. What's up, buddy? How are you? How was it out there? Good? Out You're the only one. You're the bravest one. A few. Oh, you got a few out there? Okay, be careful and have fun. Thank you. Sorry for going out there. A couple of guys. Oh, yeah, I see them out there. He's making his way there. So let me get the camera off. But hello, greetings, everybody. Hi, Terry, glad to catch you live. Hi, Arlene. Good to see you guys. It's great when I can see what you guys are saying. But look at the sand, okay? Let's start with the sand. You see how dark it looks, how um, compacted it looks. You can see footsteps very easily. The reason it looks that way is because there's been steady rain here really for the last almost 48 hours. So guys, um, I had been thinking about this. As you look out a northern shot towards Highland Beach, um, we, we have not had much in the way of rain, guys, prior to, you know, really the last week or so. All year long, it was like I was telling you, every day, wake up, look out the window, no clouds. Wake up, look out the window, no clouds or scattered clouds but definitely no rain. Guys, it was like that for the better part, I'm telling you, for like a year. If we, if we did get rain, it was either early in the morning or later in the day, and it was just a storm that came through, okay? Anybody that lives down here will confirm what I'm telling you. Now, as we got closer to summer, we started to see the rain picking up, and my point is, the last two days were the first two days that I can remember that I can, I really, I can't, I can't tell you when. We had rain from the minute I woke up to the minute I went to bed, except for right now, because right now it's not raining. So let me show you these guys here. Uh, but to answer the question specifically about flooding, rain, water, uh, deluge, all of that stuff, as this guy comes in on his surfboard and wipes out, watch out for that wave! Um, we got about five inches of rain here, maybe something like that, four to three to five inches, somewhere in there. Um, Hollywood got about nine inches. Miami got clear. I was thinking about that. I was thinking about that. Ten inches of rain is equivalent to about 11 feet of snow. Think about that. Hi, Linny. Sending your love from Jamaica. Well, I hope Jamaica's got calmer seas than we do. I think you do. I don't think you guys are getting any of this. Um, but it's early. It's early. Let me, let me uh, put my feet in the water. And I am barefoot. It's pretty warm. Pretty warm. And seaweed. Hi, Joe. Saratoga in the house. What's up, Saratoga? Nice to see you. Straighten this out a little bit. Love the sound of the surf. Isn't that a great sound? 
this is um, sort of a mid mid shot, if, if you will. Um, I'll show you the camera angles. Or that's uh, that's as far out as it goes. This is a mid shot, which was giving me problems when I was on Fort Lauderdale. And that's the tightest shot we got as you see the surfer down there. Did that water just drag him all the way over there? Yeah, I can only imagine the undertow that you have on a day like today. Um, I will tell you though, comparing this to uh, Tropical Storm Isaias when I was out here filming uh, last year and I got just pelted by rain. This is nothing. This is nothing. So, it's not a tropical storm. Hi, Karen. Stuart Florida in the house. Love Stuart. Love it. This is not a tropical storm. It's not a named storm yet. When it gets out to sea, that's what happens. It'll become a little more organized, and the warm waters will, you know, generate some more energy, and then it will turn into a tropical storm Alex, I believe. But in order to be a tropical named storm, it has to have sustained winds of, I think, 39 miles an hour. Maximum sustained winds of at least 39 miles an hour. So it doesn't have that yet. It hasn't hit that. And, um, and that's why it's right now known as Potential Tropical Cyclone 1. That's the name. That, you know what? That sounds more ominous. Just don't want to keep the camera too long on myself. I want to show you the cloud cover. And you can see the... You can see the storm moving. Look at how fast those clouds are going. YouTube. I'm on YouTube right now. Thank you. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk to the. Uh... Hey, buddy, how are you? I'm the, I'm the barefoot vlogger on YouTube. The barefoot vlogger. Barefoot vlogger would it be? Yes, sir. All right. Yeah. All right. Where are you from? Are you from Florida? Originally from Brazil, but I live here in Boca. Yeah. From Brazil, you live here in Boca. How do you like Boca? I love Boca. You do, yeah. yeah do, What's yeah. not to love? Look what you're doing right yeah, now, right? Exactly, Even yeah. when the weather is lousy, you whenever, can get out there and have fun. Whenever there's some hurricane or tropical storm, that's what I do. Really? Now, yeah. I'm curious. What was your name again? Louis. I'm curious to know. Um, when you get out, uh, when when there is a storm coming through, do you measure the severity of the storm before you decide whether or not to go out in it? So, usually, before and after the storm, there is a time you can come out and it's safe. Oh, okay. During the actual storm, usually it's not safe. So you know, usually I'm at home or I drive up north or whatever it is. You know, I like, gotcha. Yeah. Even something like this, or this is not. This is not. This is nothing. Yeah. This is nothing. So this you're okay. Just, just a little bit of rain, you know, like. You know, it, it, like, look, there's not even wind. There's right not now. much wind at all, right? exactly. Yeah. I think we got lucky, but a lot of flooding, though. Yes, yes. We yeah. saw that. Yeah. So, so how long have you been living here, if you don't mind me asking? For the uh, four years. Four years. So, what's the worst storm? Five, five years. Sorry. Do you remember the worst storm that you've been through? So, Irma. Irma. Yeah. That was a pretty bad one. Yeah, I, I used to live in Plantation at the time. It was really rough. Yeah, did you rough. Did you happen to get out and do any surfing during uh, Irma? I, I did not because no. my wife was mad at me. She, uh, she, yeah. would, she wouldn't let me, but every single storm after that, I did come out. Yeah. Wow, yeah. wow. What's the worst um, conditions that you've seen out here that you've gone surfing in? How bad was it? I don't remember which storm it was, yeah. uh, but I remember trying to surf down in Deerfield Beach. And I think it was like 12 to 15 foot waves. Deerfield's got some pretty big waves. It was, it for was some rough, reason. yeah. And there was a couple guys in the water, but it was really rough, yeah. Wow. Yeah. What uh, What's the most interesting thing or dangerous thing you've seen since you've been surfing? Any any sharks, any, just the waves really, undertoes? Never never seen any sharks. I did see a lot of other animals, but not no sharks. Not no yet. sharks yet. Uh, okay, let's hope that trend continues. Yeah. How long have you been surfing for? Since I was 13, so it's going to be 24, 25 years. Oh, now. wow. Yeah. A long time. Yeah, okay. Did you learn that in Brazil? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You did? Yeah. Awesome. Well, it's great chatting with you, yeah, Louis. Totally. We really appreciate it and nice meeting you. And be careful out there, yeah, okay? Totally. I'll check your channel. All right. Please yeah. do. You're on it now. You'll be able to see this barefoot. Thank you. So there he goes. I would say off into the sunset, but there's not a lot of that. Is that Spanish River Road on a one Boulevard, Spanish River Boulevard officially, but yes, 
This is uh, this is an area. Hold on, I'm just going to readjust the mic. I'm trying to uh, be conscious of when I talk to people, and he was good enough to speak with us. Hi, Andrew. Surfing the nip waves. Okay. Um, I'm trying to be conscious of you know the the the, the audio. So the having this. Uh, detachable lavalier enables me to uh, to take it off and, and put it in front of folks. You see a couple of coconuts here washed up. Look, you can actually see the coconut. You see it? Right? Speaking of Wilson references. And now it looks like it's, uh, feels like it's starting to rain a little bit. Of course, I don't have the umbrella. I'm glad the audio is good. Hi, Robbie. That the sea is freezing? No, you know what? It's not. It's not. Rarely do we get ice cold waters here in Southeast Florida. Rarely. Even in the dead of winter. The water is never really, you know, ice cold. You'll get days where it feels nippier and um, a little harder to get in, a little chillier. But, um, Rickle is crazy. Yeah, hi, Ian. It is. It's bad down there. It's bad down there. Listen, I've seen regular rainstorms hit that Brickle area. Wow, look at those waves just just coming in like that. Unbelievable. How are you? How was it? It's it's so is there an undertow that's dragging you? Is that what's going on? If you don't mind me asking? Oh yeah. Really? Yeah, it's pretty strong. So you gotta be a good swimmer to be out there right now, you would say? Um, I'd say not. I wouldn't swim out here ever uh, whatsoever. You wouldn't swim, do any swimming. If you weren't surfing, you wouldn't be swimming. Oh yeah, I would never swim in this. You're just, you're safer on a surfboard with like uh, the rip currents. Why is that? Because you're, you're floating on the surface. Because you're on the surface, not being dragged around underneath. Wow. How long have you been surfing, sir? A uh, little, little over 15 years. 15 years, wow. Any advice for would-be surfers moving to Florida? Um, take trips to uh, other places that have better waves. What do you like? Uh, I've been at um, Costa Rica and Peru. Costa Rica and Peru. It's just here that we don't get we don't get them every day, so it's hard to like actually progress. Right. If, if you're only surfing here. Well, we're getting. It's not going to bother him because he's wet. But uh, we're getting wet. I'm going to have to protect the camera. What's your name, sir? Nick. Jake. Nick. Nick. Nice to meet you, buddy. Yeah. Am I on like some sort of news channel? This is a um, barefoot vlogger on YouTube. So oh, please oh. check it out. Oh, I'm going nice. to go get my umbrella careful out there thank you see you guys um, I, I should have brought the umbrella I know that but I, it was just another thing to carry if I didn't need it um, I didn't want to but uh, I'm gonna go back and get that now camera put my poncho on if I could it out hold on Probably should have took the hat off. It's stuck on something. It's this. Yell out and I need to. Hold on, guys. I gotta get that umbrella. This camera's getting. Let's see if it's still there. Hold on, guys. Let me see if I, uh...
I feel the wind picking up now. I'm trying to get situated, guys. Guys, I'm getting wet pretty good. The signal is probably going out because of the fact that I got this storm over me right now. But it's really more of a rain event. I'm not, I'm not feeling very much in the way of wind. I wouldn't be able to hold this umbrella right now, although it's starting to kick up here and there. So the lifeguards are out. Maybe they'll let me indoors there. What do you think? Signal's still good? Well, thank God for small favors. All right, I'm going to get it on again. Now let's go back to the ocean. I have an umbrella now. A rain event. I hope I can get tickets to that. All right, George Carlin. Ooh, a rain event. It's getting windier. It's getting windier. Still, again, really not... Not anything that is uh, where I feel like I'm in any peril. Although, you know, this, this part of the storm that's over me right now might be the edge of it as it's starting to push out to sea. I'm feeling the wind. The wind is picking up. It's blowing me. It's blowing me pretty good. Probably, I don't know, 25 mile an hour gust, maybe 30. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Actually, I was watching George last night. It's so funny you should say that. All right, hold on, guys. I need to, uh, I need to get some of this water off the camera and my glasses. Show you where I'm at right now. Underneath this umbrella here, you can see my glasses are problem with not having 2020 vision like I used to have 2015 vision. Thank you, computers, for destroying my eyes. Oh, yeah, by the way, old age, too. That, that, that I'm sure, had something to do with it. But here I am under this umbrella. It's doing the job. Thank you, Svetlana. And I have my uh, poncho on. By the way, the bag that I have is the same bag that I used when I was in the boat with Frank for the Boca Bash. So... It's supposed to be water resistant, not waterproof. I'm gonna turn around and show you the waves behind me that are kicking up pretty good. There are a few surfers out here that are enjoying it. I'm not enjoying it, I gotta be honest with you. Whoa, there's a gust, there's a gust. Using a lot of the strength in my hand to hold the umbrella. This is a good umbrella, by the way because it, it's a little more concave, comes down a little more, so um, it, it's, it's, not, it's not going inside out on me. All right, hold on. Hold on, I get a multitask. Cleaning my, cleaning my glasses right now, best I can. Hang with me, guys. Hang with me. Keep the electronics as dry as possible because I'm using a gimbal. That's what you guys are on right now to keep it smoother. And, you know, it's a battery-operated deal, so if it, if it gets wet, it will, it will conk out on me, and that may happen any minute. Barefoot, you look like one of those crazy weathermen. That's right, Cynthia. I'm Florida man, baby, Florida man. Better than the Weather Channel. You know what drives me nuts about the Weather Channel, Ian and everyone? I, wa I went on last night because I had an idea I was going to do this, or at least attempt it. I went on last night, and they got like these shows on, you know, about weather, but I, 
you know, I couldn't find out what was going on. I wanted to put on the Weather Channel. The, when there's a storm going on, Weather Channel, hear this loud and clear if you're listening. When there is a storm going on, don't put reruns of, you know, weather things that happened in 1968. Keep it on 24 hours a day around the clock until the storm passes to let us know what the heck's going on as you see the pelicans flying overhead. Come on! You can see the difficulty at which he's using uh, those wings to flap and get airborne and maintain his, his air under his wings, constantly flapping. I am in the ocean right now up to past my ankles those waves are calming could fall asleep with the sound of the waves i know if i wasn't talking you know i'll shut up i'll shut up for a minute i'll shut up for a minute real live flappy bird real live flappy bird what's up jerry Linny, those waves are calming. Okay, that was Linny that said that. Wilson, everyone, please smash the like button. Thank you, guys. What would mom say if you were outside now during the storm? Hi, Dr. Good Helmet. Uh, you know what, mom? Oh, hold on, guys. Guys, I, I had to pull out the... I had to pull That's the mic. The mic fell into the ocean. Did you guys hear it fall into the ocean? I, I don't think I can plug that back in. So now you're listening to the raw audio and it probably sounds pretty terrible. Gimbal, the gimbal is, it's moist. Whoa. Guys, I could feel it dragging me in at the feet. Trying to drag me in at the feet. Imagine if I was in up to my knees. No, the, the mic fell out. So you guys are going to be getting wind now. I, I don't know what would happen if I plugged it back in. It's, it was submerged. It fell off and into the ocean. Trials and tribulations of a vlogger. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, guys. I will. I'm, I'm not going in past my ankles. I won't do it, unless I get dared, no, no, I won't do it, but guys, I wanted to give you a bird's eye view, all right, I thought about like going on my balcony and showing you the lake and all that stuff, I may still do that, because we had a little bit of flooding on our balcony, a little bit of flooding, um, but you know, it's a balcony, so we can squeegee that up. But guys, I wanted to be in the thick of things and give you a bird's eye view and take you into this and show you what it's like, because this is nothing. This is nothing. This is barely a tropical storm. So just imagine a hurricane, how much power that packs the punch when it hits the coast. And um, good thing I brought this umbrella is all I can say, because now the rain is, uh, is coming in. We have 143 people watching a live storm. Something the Weather Channel's not even doing. Something just, what is that, a basket? There floating around. Now the wind gust is, the, the wind's picking up. See the umbrella moving. Look at that wave, oh my God. Are you guys still there? It's going to be a tropical storm when it pushes out to sea. Guys, I'm getting, gusts are picking up. I'm doing my best to hold on to this with one hand. My bag is pretty soaked and I have other equipment in there. So hopefully it's, uh, it's going to be okay. It's a water resistant bag. The waves are dragging me in, guys. I'm not even realizing that as I'm standing here, 
The force of the waves and the wind are trying to drag me out to sea. I Thank you, Skylar. No, I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. Listen, I get a lot of people, I get a lot of people asking me about what it's like to go to a storm. Pretty strong wind gusts right there. Oh, my right arm is so tired. Hold on, I have to switch. I gotta switch. Oh, my right arm was cramping up. Oh, that's better. Wind gusts are picking up. Now I'm using all my strength to hold this umbrella. Try to hold it like that against my shoulder. It's really pushing me. So there are some strong gusts. There was nothing before when I was talking to that surfer, almost nothing. Florida man. Ah, oh, there she is. Vinzio, you're nuts. I started working here a few months ago. Visit all the places you go. Venetian pool a couple of weeks ago. Thank you, thank you, Nisha, I really appreciate that. Thank you for the contribution. It goes a long way for me to be able to get out and do stuff like this. Look at my, I'll buy a new microphone. I'm going to need one. So thank you. Definitely gonna need one. That thing is, uh, is history. I'm only holding on to it for the cord. The cord is more valuable than the mic. John Smith, the Weather Channel was in Miami. Oh, really? Very cool. Merky, what's going on? You need to be one of those crazy reporters on the Weather Channel. You know what? Um, you know, they got a tough job, those folks. They definitely do. But um, like I said, I would, I would like to see them do more reporting overnight. You know, three o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, there's people that need the information. Don't go to the infomercials. Don't go to the repeats. Have somebody in the newsroom. They can afford it. You know what I mean? Bent an umbrella. Harness to strap it to your body. Yeah, you're onto something, Skylar. You're onto something. Yeah, down in Miami where AK is, um, you get a lot of flooding down there, guys. Miami Beach is one of the first places. Oh, the cheering! Twenty more dollars for your new mic and hospital bills when you get. <laughs> Let's hope not. Let's hope not. Thank you so much. Really, truly appreciate the contributions. It means a lot to me. I will hit Best Buy later if they're open and pick up a new mic. Truly appreciate that, my friend. That's so nice of you. And enjoy it down here. Thanks for getting out and about and um, visiting some of the places that I've been to. Go back and watch some of the older videos too. Some of the places that we've traveled to. So, as you see, hi, Alan. Jim Cantori has nothing on you. There you go. Well, you know what, guys? In, in all honesty, this is really nothing. It's something, and it's not a nice day, but comparatively speaking to other storms that you'll see me, guys, I'm gonna to try to brave it all out here. I'm not gonna be stupid um, or put myself in ultimate harm's way, but I I'm gonna to try to carefully get out. Like the surfer was saying, there's times you can get out and times you, times you can't. He's right about that. So, you know, prior to, just after, um, you know, as things are approaching, I'll get out here to show you the conditions. Robbie! $9.99 from my good friend from Las Vegas. Appreciate it, brother. That's so kind of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A million thank yous to you guys. As you look at my amphibious, now amphibious, no longer functioning, Lavalier microphone. 
So I'm sorry about the wind, but you know what? It, it gives you, what you're hearing is the raw, raw audio of the wind that's passing by me. This wind is coming from the southwest, which makes perfect sense because that's the direction of the storm. At last check, the storm was moving 18 miles an hour. It's pretty fast, pretty, pretty quick. And you can see these waves. These are good, good sized waves, guys. I'm glad, I'm so, I'm so thankful for that. Hi, Mark, thank you that it's, uh, that, the, that the transmission is good and I can read the chat. Hi, Norman, how you doing, my friend? Good to see you. Sunshine, I said hello, right, Sunshine? I, I can't scroll the chat to see what I might have missed. Miguel, it works at an Airbnb. Didn't believe we're gonna have rain, not even after you showed them the radar. Hi, Shannon. Well, that's surprising. I mean, the radar doesn't lie. The thing is, is, you, you, you know, predicting how fast it's gonna move and in which direction. But, um, these things, again, seem to, to be doing a north, it actually would be northeasterly track coming from the southwest. Winds are named from the direction they come, so it's a southeasterly wind. Coming from the Naples area. Should have said always. Shannon loves the storm, so glad you're doing this. Yeah, I, you know what? Uh, me too, me too. I, I wasn't sure, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm gonna tell you right now. West Boca where I live, my, my hat is so cockeyed, it's funny. I look like a little, I look like a little eight-year-old catcher on a baseball team. Um, when I when I looked out the window this morning, like 10 o'clock, around that time, 9, 10, something like that, it was just, it was just horrible looking. The, 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 the rain, the clouds, just everything. And I was like, ah, man, what a disaster. I just didn't feel like getting all this stuff together, getting in the car, driving to the beach. I'm like, ah. Maybe I'll just shoot it from the window, and I'm like, nah, nah, nah. I'm getting out there. I'm getting out there. Guys, 190 people watching us live to see what's going on while a storm is passing over me here. This is potential tropical cyclone number one, soon to be tropical storm Alex. So hello and welcome everyone. Florida man, barefoot vlogger here. Hold on, let me, let me see if I can turn it around. Guys, I'm gonna to try to put the mic in my pocket. Bear with me a second. Because I, I don't want to lose the attachment. It's the most important part of it. Hold on. All right, that should be safe and secure. And there we go. By the way, big shout out to my New York Rangers who defeated the Tampa Bay Lightning Second game in a row and now have a two to zero lead. I know, I know, it's not very Florida-like for me to root for a New York team, but guys, what can I tell you? I'm loyal. I'm a loyal son of a gun. I, I love my teams. I am rooting for the Miami Dolphins, so that is the one Florida team I do root for, so. Give me some credit. All right, I'm switching hands again. I, I, get, I get, you get very tired of my shoulders are cramping up because I'm using a lot of strength as the gusts come to maintain my grip on the umbrella and to keep it from folding over on me. But, I mean, look at these waves. They're huge. You know, this is not something anybody should go swimming in. It would permit it. They have their flags up warning people. Oh, hey! Happy belated birthday. Have a beer on us. Thanks for always sharing your light and being positive. You know what, Heather? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. That's so generous of you and your, your kind words. Uh, always so uplifting and encouraging to me. Thank you so much. I really, truly appreciate that. You're the best. Onward and upward. As you see the surfer coming in right towards us.
making his way over. So that's what you need to do to maintain your location. To maintain your location um, close to the beach entrance or exit, as it were. There it is, just to the left of the lifeguard stand. Otherwise, he would end up in Boynton Beach. So that's what they'll do. They'll ride the waves in, and then they will um, get out, get on the shore, and then walk back from whence they came. I'm a fifth generation Floridian, says KK Bronson. Hello and welcome. The reaction to this storm is quite amusing. All good fun though. It wouldn't I wouldn't last a day in snow. There you go, KK. Whoa, gust of wind. Gust of wind, picking up now. Using my strength. I mean again, it's not, it's not something that's gonna knock me over. But you know this is not normal. You can tell it's not normal. You can see the sun actually trying to peek through these clouds right here. Hold on. Hold on, the camera just got knocked. Okay, we're good. These two, like being right on the beach with you. Cool. Thank you, D. Appreciate it. Sorry about the wind. Nothing I can do. I lost my lavalier. I know it's... Uh, Hold on, I'm, I'm getting... Oh. They're not in Kansas anymore, says Wilson. Joseph, hello. I once went swimming right before a hurricane. Let me tell you the force of the waves knocking to the ground. There were seashells. I got completely cut open. Had to go to Broward Medical. Wow. Yeah, you know... Again, I'm not, um, I'm not trying to be a daredevil and defy death, you know what I mean? I, I certainly don't want to do that. I don't want to put myself or anyone else in harm's way, and I don't want anybody to mimic something that's foolish and, um, you know, going to put somebody in any potential danger. So be careful, guys. Storms are nothing. Even a storm like this, nothing to, um, you know, to, to, to tempt its fate, if you will. Um, but you know, if you get out at the right times and you're careful and responsible enough, I'm not going in the water. I say I'm not going in the water any further than my ankles, but the tide is coming in and um, has a tendency to drag me. You can see as the water goes out, all the force of it, as it just pulls back and recedes. Stay safe out there. Thank you, Gypsy. We'll do my best. We're going to need a bigger block. Is that what that said? That's hilarious. Is this west of Scotland? Uh, hi, John. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Hi, Cool Daddy. The water is warm, guys. The water is very warm. Although, you know what? Um, it, it, it almost always is. This water is rarely cold. Uh, you, you can see some of my older videos where I went uh, swimming, like in Hollywood. I went swimming. Uh, where else did I go? I was up uh, further north from here, Jensen Beach and Juno Beach, I think. I went swimming in the winter time. It was, it was a little, you know, it was a little tough getting in, but that's also because the air is cooler. So right now, even though it's 76 degrees, it's balmy. It's balmy. It feels like it's 86. I mean, I am not cold, chilly in the least, um, you know, it's, uh, the, 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 the chill is, is not an issue whatsoever because there isn't one. It's, you know, it's a warm breeze that's sticky. That's the way I would describe it because there's so much moisture in the air. I mean, what's the humidity now? 99.9%. So going to get the camera back off of me. Hold on, guys. Sunshine. There you go, sunshine. That's a good plan. Probably jump in the arms of the skipper. <laughs> the sewer runoff from the flooding. Yep, yep, that's what happens. You know what, guys? Why don't we walk a little bit? We'll walk a little bit. 
and risk it. I'm walking north now. Let's walk towards Yamato Rock and check that out. Got to live up to the name every now and then. So I am barefoot. And again, this is uh, this is where they have Bark Beach, which they have on the weekends after five o'clock. I wonder if people are gonna bring their dogs out on a day like today. Later in the day, um, actually probably within the next two hours, most of this storm is gonna be past us. Hi, Tina. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Hi, Dave. Gold coins might wash up. Uh, you know, probably that's more in the Treasure Coast, which is north of me. And that's where it gets the name Treasure Coast from because uh, there were a lot of sunken, you know, pirate ships and old Spanish galleons. There's mostly from storms, hurricanes that they, you know, either capsized or somehow sunk. And as a result of that, there's a lot of treasure that's still out there. That's further north. That's like more off the coast of, you know, Stewart and Vero Beach. Charlotte Harbor. Hi, Susie Fairland. Fairf Fairfield, how you doing? Thanks for joining me. Is the seaweed there edible? You know what? I don't think it would kill you. It probably just doesn't taste very good. I'll give you a close-up shot of it. I mean, I guess, oh, look at that, a cork. Somebody had a bottle. I guess anything that won't kill you could be considered edible, but uh, probably won't taste very good. So I'm walking north now on Boca Beach, getting to the end of Boca Raton towards Highland Beach. You guys have seen me make this walk before, but not in these conditions. What's up, Bryn? Mikey Outdoors, don't seem too rough there. Be safe. Thank you. It's, um, it's not too rough, but this is... This is, whoa, these, these are storm conditions. Walking along the shore here, I will tell you that the sand Curious to see what As I make this walk, piece of driftwood there that looks like it was one time part of dock or something certainly has been floating around for quite some time not sure what that is doesn't look like a coconut people's plastic bottles and garbage which I hate to see. I mean, there's not a lot of it. It's, it's not Brighton Beach, where I'd see a lot more wash up. So again, I'm walking, I'm walking north now. The shark egg, what's up, Joe? Could be, nice to see the Atlantic coast. You wouldn't walk barefoot now? Well, you just gotta watch where you're walking, that's all. Steve Cost, is it a good idea to walk in the storm with an umbrella? This is, if, you're, if your reference is to an electrical storm, this is not electrical. I haven't seen one bolt of lightning, haven't heard any, any thunder. This is more of a, 
you know, giant squall, if you will, that is just passing over the state. There's that pole that we saw last time we walked here. Yeah, that thing ain't going anywhere. Part of a pallet. Thankfully, it avoided the uh, turtle nest. Protected species. That's where the eggs are underneath there. Again, how they know that, I don't know. You can see a bunch of them throughout. John says, working Ascension Island, South Atlantic, lots of rubbish from Brazil. Okay. Yeah, you know, there's no telling where this stuff float, floats up from and how far it's come. You know, as a kid growing up in Brighton Beach, Brooklyn, New York, I was, I was literally steps from the beach where I grew up, so I was on it every day. Summer, winter, all, all times of year. And, um, you know, I, I, I'd always hoped that maybe one day I'd find a coconut washed up that came up from Florida across from one of the islands. Never happened. Never happened once. San Diego weather? Oh, look at you, Cheryl. Can we trade? For once, for once, you got better weather than we do. As I'm walking, guys, I could see, uh, I could see it getting brighter. A little patch right there of blue sky. So I think this is getting near the end of it. I don't know, somebody could check the Doppler. Love seeing the waves coming in and going out. Hi, Dom. Yeah, it is. It is lovely to look at, even on a otherwise crummy day. This is something different, you know. It's something different. It's something nice to behold. And um, I'll tell you right now, I'm feeling sun on my back. You can see a clearing right there. Yeah, you guys need rain. You guys always need rain, it seems like. Well, I'll tell you what, this was much needed for us for many reasons. Um, we hadn't had much rain, you know, the course of the last year. You see the erosion. And having fires out in the Everglades daily. So I'll bet you they're out now. I'll bet you those fires are out now. And that's what we needed. It's funny, too, because when I went to the Yellow Green Market, uh, the parking lot was like a sea of mud from some, some heavy rains that had passed through the area right before I got there. And anyway, my um, blue iguana got white uh, gravel dirt underneath it. And it was just like plastered under it and I'm like oh man I gotta go wash that off and you know what it's gone now it's gone now so because I because I was uh, when I exited my community there was probably two feet of water that I drove through so it came up to the top of the wheel well here's some standing water here Wow, guys, look how I sunk. It's like quicksand. Look at that. It's, guys, it's like quicksand. I got a little scared there for a second. I'm not going to lie. 177 people are watching us. Thank you, guys. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It'll help us out. I'll do more things like this. The sun is out, guys. The sun is out. Get me, this, get me this, the sun protection. Look at this. Still a slight drizzle. A 
Another storm is coming. Yeah, well, you know, it's that time of year. Coconut cam. I think I... So that's Yamato Rock right over there. You guys have seen me there before. You can see all the seaweed I told you guys that when we have rough weather, big waves and rough seas and rough weather, it'll bring this stuff up. And here you go. Here's one of those husks that I was telling you about that come off the trees. That would be like at the base of the palm fronds. You see these husks. And during a hurricane, or after a hurricane, you'll see those all over the streets. All over the streets. And they're pretty heavy. You don't want to get hit in the head with one of those things. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Virginia. What's up, Deborah? Oh, uh, YouTube froze. I'm sorry. Yeah, you. I'm walking here along the coast. I am just at the far reaches of Boca where Highland Beach begins. And that's Yamato Rock right there. You can go to Google Maps and you'll see where I am. Yamato Rock is a little protrusion of the bedrock that is uh, that makes up Florida. That limestone. That looks like uh, a lot of debris right there. We'll go investigate that. Not much happening in Virginia. You love the ocean. Yeah, me too, guys. It's uh, one of the things that I miss. Things will get caught up in this seaweed. I mean, you know, the one good thing is a lot of that garbage and debris, when it gets caught up in the seaweed, of the ocean. I mean, we don't want dirty beaches either, but it's less likely that uh, sea creatures will, you know, be imperiled by it. Yeah, that looks like a... Uh, bunch of palm fronds for some reason all in that one spot not sure if somebody dragged them there or they came off of that palm tree that's one of my favorite palm trees down here I love it and guys the Sun is out the Sun is out it's official Isn't that beautiful though that palm tree love it That's interesting. Not sure how that got there. See all those little fleas? I don't know if you guys can see that. A bunch of little tiny sand fleas flying around. I guess they eat the uh, fresh seaweed. But those are palm fronds that just congregated in that one spot for some reason. Enjoying nice sunny weather. Go ahead, rub it in, Robbie. What is that? Somebody's toy? Is that a Porsche? Southern view, looking down across the coast on the Atlantic. You can see the waves, you can see the uh, 
storm pushing out to sea. And guys, things are looking up. Now again, this is this is called potential because it didn't have the sustained maximum winds to be an actual named storm. La at last check, anyway. The wind gusts seem to have died down a little bit, too. And there it is, guys. That's Yamato Rock right there. So I certainly want to be careful there. It also does hurt to walk on that. I'm going to close the umbrella. risky walking out on that so I probably don't want to be doing that because I can't see where I'm walking but this is a big outcropping right here of uh, this limestone what's really a reef when the tide comes all the way in hi Jen what's going on good to see you I will try my best, I promise. Thank you. Hi, Donna. What's going on, Donna? Sand hoppers are a type of crustacean. Spend a day buried in the sand. Yeah, I know what those are. We call those, um, they're in one of my videos. We call those sand fleas. They're weird looking creatures. They almost look like something from outer space, but much smaller than that. According to the gentleman that I met, see little fish on there? He was using them, he was using them as bait to go fishing. And uh, he told me that you can't eat them. He said they taste like peanuts. You can fry them up and they taste like peanuts. So I, I, my response to that was, I'm going to stick to the planters. As you see these waves crashing in here, right over Yamato Rock. Again, this is a this is a spot that you can find on the map. If you go to Google Maps, you will see it right where I'm at, right at the southernmost end of Highland Beach. And you'll, as you go past these condos, there are gorgeous homes. You know what? Why don't we walk? We'll keep walking. I'm not sure uh, how the signal's gonna do, and I don't even know how much battery I have left, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna push the envelope. How about that? It's a lovely day for a walk. Now you can see all of this, uh... You can see all of this back brush here, these trees. Not just the palm trees, but what's making up most of this is sea grape trees. And they provide really good protection for the homes and the street backing up to this part of the beach right here. Perfect walking weather. Well, you know what? Now it kind of is. Now it kind of is. Guys, guys, look at this. I'm not going to disturb this, but I think what we have right there, and if I if I find a m marine um, officer, those are eggs. Those are eggs. I'm not going to get near them. I'm not going to disturb them. But look, those are eggs. I believe those are turtle eggs. Either that or a whole bunch of golf balls. So... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to touch it, I'm not going to go near it, but you can call the um, marine preservation and let them know that we saw eggs there. Pretty sure that's what those are. Pretty sure. Just, just north of Yamato Rock.
just north of Yamato Rock. Those are turtle eggs, guys. That's a turtle nest. Uh, those are the, um, the turtles here, the uh, loggerhead turtles, I believe. That's what it looked like to me. That's what it looked like to me. As you can see, that post right there, that's what that's for. That's for the turtle eggs, the turtle nests that are under there. And unfortunately, that one nest that we walked past, if that's what that was, I'm assuming that's what that was, was because it was right at the, right at the edge of some erosion. And that's why they were exposed like that. Yeah, guys, you, you know, if you come across something like that, you definitely don't want to disturb it. You don't want to touch it. It's against the law um, as well. But I'm going, I'll, I'll let the lifeguards know. That's what I'll do. I will let the lifeguards know as I, as I exit the beach. Guys, if you're just joining me, I'd love to show you guys what Pass through southeast Florida. There's some bamboo right there. That's a big, huge piece. So I can't even see. You can see how deep blue the skies look out there. That looks like that looks like rain out there over the ocean. If you're new to the channel, guys, thank you for joining me, Barefoot Vlogger. Most of you already know this, but I uh, live here in South Carolina. Trying to get out almost on a daily basis. But it's like the good, the bad, the indifferent. Just my experiences that you guys can uh, judge for yourself. Which of those three it is. So That's the Atlantic Ocean. I am in Highland Beach right now, which is a small beach town just north of Boca Raton. And uh, this is in Palm Beach County, the southern reaches of Palm Beach County. Closest Broward County town to us would be Deerfield Beach to our south. And um, making my way here towards these uh, lovely mansions that line the beach that uh, we are getting close to. I can't see the screen, so you guys just talk amongst yourselves. Probably what's happening is the battery is uh, getting towards the lower end, and as a result, it's trying to preserve my battery power so that I could continue to live stream. So hopefully it's still happening. But you can see all of the seaweed. You know, again, I know a lot of people, they you know, they, they, they see the seaweed and they're like, man, that's horrible. That's ugly. You know, I don't care how nice the beaches are. The seaweed is terrible. And you know what? I, I, I don't disagree with that. But it's not here all the time. It's here. It's here often. You know, we get it often. But it's just not a daily occurrence that you trip over every time you go to the beach. We do have our seasons where this, uh, this stuff will be will be gone. They also do have tractors. By the way, somebody sent me the video. Sorry, I don't remember who it was. Uh, they have tractors that come every so often and clean this stuff up. Um, you can see the video that I was sent. Fort Lauderdale Beach with the, uh, the cleanup crew actually had a video to show people that process. So... So, and again, this is the Atlantic Ocean. And, uh, you know, it's one of the reasons that I enjoy living here in Southeast Florida is because I like the deep open ocean. Gulf Coast is beautiful too. It's much more calm. It's probably a little warmer. And, um, and it's gorgeous. I love it. I love it over there. 
So it's just a personal preference. And what I always say is, people that are conflicted about which side they should live on, you know, I always say, well, just, you know, pick the side that you like better. And as we do, and we'll continue to do, you see the work, the work on this condo here, this is an older condominium here in Highland Beach that looks like they are re-facing the exterior, they're, they're redoing the um, balconies. In a lot of these buildings, every 30 years, they get a review. They have to take a look at the engineering reports and the structure of the building to make sure that it's still sound. And a lot more of that is going on now. Being looked at sooner and more seriously with a more critical eye, especially in the aftermath of the recent tragedy down in Surfside, Miami. Here we have a couple of surfers just chilling right here at the water's edge. Maybe they're done for the day. What's up, guys? How was it? Good? Yeah. How long were you out there? Uh, an hour. One hour? Rough, rough. What was it like? It was rough? Tiring? Rough. You're pretty tired now. Is it because of the size of the waves or undertow or what? Waves, waves. Size, the amount. Everything, huh? A little bit of everything. Yeah. Cool. Well, you got a good spot. Why do you guys like this spot? Right here. Building. What are they doing to it? They're replacing the balconies? They're innovating. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys. Thanks for chatting and be yeah. careful and have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Instagram, okay. Hit me up. I'm Barefoot Vlogger on YouTube. Thank you, guys. So here you go, guys. Millionaire's Row. Again, I'm not sure. Can't see the screen whatsoever. The iPhone is doing its best to preserve my battery, so it's lowered my screen light to where I can't see it. But hopefully, you know, I'll continue here and you guys can hear what I'm saying and see what I'm showing you. These are just absolutely gorgeous each front homes, these are the back of the homes, obviously. Each has their own access right to the beach, and they own this private beach. That that that's deeded beach for that house right there, and each one as we walk north. Now, Florida, you you can you can buy land on the beach, but you, you, you can't you can only own the beach up to the again, I always forget what that's called. The, middle shoreline or median shoreline something like that so it's basically where the, uh, the high tide line is what it is so the, towards to the end of the high tide line so that's probably what you're looking at is this seaweed is delineating that for us so where the seaweed ends don't quote me on this but this is my best guess where the seaweed ends and uh, the beach begins is the the end of their property on the beach here's another little limestone outcropping and guys sometimes when you're walking on the beach you won't see it it's hidden pretty well really stub your toe and hurt guys i wanted to show you like i just did just there i wanted to show you these beautiful homes what money can buy and these homes will probably start around 10 million i'm guessing Eight, nine, ten million. Start around there, and they'll go up into the thirties, into the thirty millions. Last, last I remember, anyway. So, so guys, if I missed you, please know that I'm sorry, and I appreciate you joining me. And I had fun. I'm going to be live tonight. We'll talk hurricanes. We'll talk storms. We already did, but we're going to continue that conversation. We'll talk about some uh, some other things too. Some of the stuff that I've done recently, some of the things I have planned, and um, and what's going on. So I'll show you the uh, surfers. I got a distant shot there, so I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but there are quite a few surfers well out there beyond the white caps. 
just a gorgeous day here now as the clouds head out to sea, the sun starts to peek its head out. And uh, that's where I just came from and where I'm going to head back. So guys, I'm probably at the uh, end of my battery capability and uh, we'll start the walk. So it's still there. Otherwise, I am walking home barefoot and really living up to the day. So guys, till this evening, I will be on live at 9 p.m. from Highland Beach among some beautiful homes. This is the Barefoot Logger. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, and I'll see you tonight. Have a great day, guys, and be safe. Be safe and be well. Talk to you later. Love you all. Take care.